Yeah, hi dear students. Welcome to our channel. One more important question from the circles. If the polar of points on the circle x square plus y square equal to a square with respect to x square plus y square equal to b square touches the circle x square plus y square equal to c square then show that a, b, c are in geometrical progression a, b, c are in geometrical progression so how to do that it's so very easy by observing all the circles having the same center that means concentric circles see here the figure will come like this so first circle it will come like this second circle this third circle so for all center will be same center 0 comma 0 only <coughs> for all the circles according to the question this is the first circle x square plus y square is equal to a square second circle equation is here i am writing this is x square plus y square is equal to b square and third circle here I am writing x square plus y square is equal to c square if the polar of points on the circle so you have to consider one point here I am considering one point p of x1 comma y1 first step let P of x1, y1 be any point on the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. Keep that equation number 1. Then, so in place of x, y, the point lies on the circle now. It will becomes x1 square plus y1 square is equal to a square put it in box this result we will use in the coming steps this is the first step completed so if the polar of points on the circle point we assume that point is there circle will be here the polar of the point p with respect to second circle so polar equation so observe carefully what here This is a polar of point, polar of P with respect to second circle, S1 equal to 0 with respect to x square plus y square equal to b square is. So we know that S1 equal to 0 polar equation, xx1 plus yy1 plus g index plus x1. With respect to this circle, x square plus y square equal to b square now. Next step that only. The polar of the polar of p with respect to x square plus y square is equal to b square is this is s is equal to 0 circle is s1 equal to 0 that is S1 equal to 0 according to this circle you have to write here students. So xx1 plus yy1 that constant g value of value not there. So that constant b square you can take this side is minus b square equal to 0. Keep it as equation number 2. xx1 it is in the form of ax plus by. So x1 into x plus y into y1 plus minus b square is equal to 0. This polar equation touching the third circle 
नेक्स्ट स्टेप इक्वेशन टू टचेस इक्वेशन थ्री अदरवाइज राइट क्लियरली इक्वेशन टू टचेस द सर्किल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वायर थर्ड सर्किल देन any line touching the circle radius of the particular circle is equal to perpendicular distance from center of the circle to this line then radius of equation 3 is equal to perpendicular distance from center of the circle from third circle center only can take from center of equation 3 To equation two. So radius of equation three is what x square plus y square equal to. It is in the form of r square only. Now r is equal to c. So radius of this equation three is c. Perpendicular distance from center of the circle to from perpendicular circle what center here zero comma zero. So perpendicular distance from origin to the line is always. Here I am giving formula. Perpendicular distance from origin to the line a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero is b is equal to mod c y root of a square plus b square. You have to remember, dear students, zero zero is what center of this circle. So mod c y root of a square plus b square. In this, compared with a x plus b y plus c, mod c is what here? Mod minus b square by root of a square compared with a x plus b y. A value is what? X one square plus b square y one square. C is equal to mod minus b square is plus b square by root over x one square plus y one square value is what? A square. A root square cancel. It will becomes a. So c is equal to b square by a. So cross multiplication, c a a c is equal to b square. Therefore b square is equal to a c. That is a comma b comma c are in geometrical progression. They are asking to prove a b c are in GP. That's what we proved here. I hope you understand this, students. This is the way the diagram. If you draw, easy to understand. Thank you for watching our channel. If you like this video, please share to your friends.